Hi everyone, it's me. So today, here we are once again. Recently, I made a dish from Wales. We tried Welsh rarebit, which not for me. Today, we are back in England. We are in Yorkshire and we are going to make Yorkshire puddings. We're not actually in Yorkshire. Never mind, forget that. Now, I've never made Yorkshire puddings because obviously not, but I have eaten them. So I know what they're supposed to kind of look like and I know what it's supposed to taste like, so I'm hoping this might be a bit more successful than the Walsh rare bit because that was a complete mystery to me. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, so here's the thing. I got a recipe, well I looked at two separate recipes because I did my research. Not really. Both of them looked kind of the same, so I thought, whatever, I'll just pick this one. This is the Good Food um, on BBC, bbcgoodfood.com, not sponsored. Now, basically, my, re my recipe's down here, which is why I'm looking down here, just in case you get confused. It's basically just flour, eggs, milk, and oil. So how hard can it be? Now, we do need to heat the oven to two... 10. Now from the instructions it looks like, so you heat up the oven, then you put oil into Yorkshire pudding tins, you put that in the oven, then you make the stuff, then you pour the batter into the hot tins, then you put it back in the oven and you do not touch it. So I can do that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I even bought two sets of Yorkshire pudding tins for this video, which I'll probably use once and then store someplace never to see them again. Can I get an amen for consumerism? Thank you, Mr. Bezos. Now, hmm. Let's make the batter. I don't care what anybody says. We're gonna go ahead and make the batter while the oven's preheating. It takes a goddamn age, so why not start now? We want 140 grams of plain flour and four eggs. Okay, just a side note. Honestly, I hate using scales when you cook or you bake in this country. Also, for those of you who don't know me, I probably should have said this earlier. My name's Alana, and I'm a Canadian who has been living in England for a handful of years. Um, I like walks on the beach and I can't cook very well at all. So if you came to this video because you wanted to find out how to make Yorkshire puddings, this is probably not, click, go someplace else. This is not where you want to be. Using our trusty scales, we need, what did I say? 140 grams. That is as close as we're gonna get, I think. We got our, sh our flour, now we need four eggs. And then whisk. Yum. So, the, I think the oven is pretty much hot, so I think we should put our tins in. So I got these bad boys. I got two of them, because I thought four Yorkshires is not quite enough. We need eight. So we just put a little bit of oil evenly into the puds. Now how many does this make? I probably should have checked that. So this, okay. This recipe makes eight large puds. We're fine, thank God. Puds, what a fantastic word. Okay, so we got some oil. Drizzle a little oil evenly into the holes. Okay. Don't know what a little means, but we're here to find out in the name of science. If my house catches on fire and burns down, this is my last will and testament. Nobody touch my stuff. Okay, and we're just going to put these in the oven. I'm not really sure. I put varying amounts of oil in like different, so some have a little, some have more. And we're just going to see what happens. Next up, oh, I just had a panic that I hadn't started recording again. Oh my god. Okay, we need to put 200 milliliters of milk. And we gradually add it 
until the mixture is lump free. That's how we like our puds. Lumpless. Then it says we should season with salt and pepper. I don't really know how much of any of those things we should do, so I'm just going to put a little bit of both. All right? Fingers crossed. Now, if you have a British thing, food item that you think I should make, let me know. We've done a couple so far, and I, I have a Patreon account or whatever, and each week I post full-length videos on Patreon, and we've done quite a bit of cooking on there, but I know people on YouTube like it too, so we've been cooking <laughs> so much. Okay, now you're supposed to pour this into a jug and like pour it into the holes. Your girl does not have a jug, so we're just gonna figure this out a different way. Do you think they've been in there long enough? Let's try, shall we? All right, here we go. Fingers crossed, nobody dies, nothing burns down. I'm just gonna do one at a time to see if like different bits are better than the other, okay? It's called science or doing an experiment, different variables. Okay, carefully and evenly pour the batter into the holes. I don't know about that. Let's, let's scoop it, shall we? How much batter goes into one particular hole? That's a good question. Do you fill it? All right, in this one, for our variable, it came out of the oven first, and I am filling each pud hole. If you're screaming at your camera, that's okay. Just know I can't hear you, and I don't care. I feel bad sometimes. Uh, my best friend back in Canada is a chef, like a professional chef. <laughs> and whenever she watches my cooking videos, I know she dies a little bit inside, but what can you do? Okay, these, um, they're supposed to be undisturbed in the oven, so actually I want to do the other ones before these go in. I think these are not going to work. It's too late! Uh-oh. This one's not big enough, like his brother's. Oops. Well, if that's the worst of our worries, we'll be fine. Okay, these go back in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes undisturbed. So let's get them back in. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Annoyingly, when I was putting one of them in, my tray like goes down and I tilted it and guess what? Your puds left the tin. <laughs> So anyway, I am not going to touch that for the next 20 minutes, and then we will see what happens. God bless. Misfits <laughs> and we have a tray of giants. I don't know what to say. I think you need to see this. So this was the 
one that I couldn't fill up and it looks kind of like how I imagine a Yorkshire pudding to look like. These boys, don't know what happened to those guys. These ones kind of have that Yorkshire pudding shape, although I've never seen a put that size. Is that normal? I'm not sure. It don't even, I'm not really sure the insides are like fully cooked, but these are starting to get super brown so I thought maybe we'd take them out. Honestly, I don't know why this shape happens. <laughs> Although, actually, I do know. This was the tray that I put in and some of the batter um, like overflowed because I tipped it. So I guess these lost their shape because I tipped it and these ones just absolutely exploded. More than anything, I want to eat one. Let's try a traditional looking one, shall we? Now, I would assume that if you were doing a roast, you would also put like the drippings, like the meat drippings into these because that's what I always thought you're supposed to do. But obviously these don't have any of that. They're just straight. Well, you saw them. Is it supposed to be that size? Yes or no? I've never seen them that size. Normally I see them this size. Oh, this is kind of sad looking actually. But this is huge. I'm just going to go ahead and tear into it. Let's get put this center stage. Can you see that at all? Not sure. I'm just going to tear into it. Fabulous. I am shooketh. Now let's just tear into one of these weird looking boys just on the off chance. So we've got this shape. Nice color though, right? So surely it shouldn't matter. Get a close up on the old rips on that. Not quite the same, is it? It's all going in the same hole, and to be honest, I can't really tell the difference. These ones, like the, the ones that's actually rised up, rose up, whatever. Leave your grammar at the door. These ones at least have that, like, um, browned bit on the top, which I really like, but the bottom is still a little bit soft. Too soft? I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and keep eating. The bottom could probably do with a little bit longer so it's not as eggy but y'all know what I cook in this kitchen and this is a goddamn masterpiece cheers so those are my first attempt at Yorkshire puddings let's be real here I think it's a miracle I think these ones are brilliantly beautiful pieces of art and I'm probably gonna go ahead and eat all of them once I turn this camera off. If you guys have an idea of things that you think I should try to make, please let me know. Please be reasonable, okay? People sending me, you should do a full Sunday roast. That's not reasonable. We're just starting with Yorkshire's, okay? Keep it reasonable. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye!